The biggest regret from someone lying on their deathbed is this. I wish I'd had the courage to live a life true to myself, not the life others expected of me. See, as we grow old, we create a routine for ourselves. We go to school or work every day, we eat the same food and have the same conversations with the same group of friends. And we quickly lose sight of what we truly wanted out of life. We live within our own bubble and as a result, grow increasingly ignorant about the world around us. In fact, the only time we really hear about the world is through our computer and phone screens when something terrible happens halfway across the globe, making us scared and crave our bubble even more. The biggest danger of living like this, however, is that time just flies by. In the snap of a finger, our 20s, our 30s are over, and all of a sudden we're 70 years old, looking around, wondering where it all went. And the truth is, routine stole it from us. But we might have a solution to change that. Amongst the four of us, we've quit our jobs, dropped out of school, and moved halfway across the world to pursue what we love. But that decision most definitely did not happen overnight. In fact, it all started with a yes. See, whether you're a millionaire, a broke high school student, or a lost 20-something year old, we understand that dropping everything isn't realistic for everyone. But incorporating a little bit more yes into your life absolutely is. Challenging yourself to do something uncomfortable, something that scares you and makes your palms sweat, is the cure to a life without direction. And quite shockingly, a solution to slow down time. Do you remember the difference between all the days you went to work this year? Probably not. But do you remember that time you overcame something you never thought you could? Or tried something out of the ordinary just to see what might happen? Chances are much higher. But could you imagine a whole lifetime worth remembering? Stop using lack of money as an excuse for not living the life you want to live. Break your pattern, try something new, and we promise it can be done with pretty much zero dollars. After all, that's how Yes Theory was born. Oh, look, ties. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> we just need to get through this case. Alright, so guys, that's our pool that we're gonna be pool hopping. We were just walking around and it looks like a really good pool. So. What? What the fuck is- Just come up with the goods again. Brioche buns. Look at that, brioche buns. Oh, it's a brownie. I think it's a brown trout. <laughs> So a couple years ago, I felt like I was the happiest I'd ever been in my life. I felt figured out. And then, classic as it might sound, my girlfriend broke up with me. And everything I thought I was, I felt like it just disappeared. Why did Cinderella... Oh my God. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Why did Cinderella get kicked off the soccer team? 
I like kicked out of the soccer team. I don't know. She kept running from the ball. Ha! Ha! That, that, yeah, that was good. All right, see ya. Uh, excuse me, um, do you, um, do you, do you want to come to my birthday party next week? One of the goals behind everything we do is to live a life worth remembering every single second of. And if there's one thing necessary to accomplish this, it's to never let your fear of failure stop you from doing what will make you great.